All right, it is Thursday. That means it's time with our weekly chat with Oklahoma City Mayor David Holt. Yeah, good morning, Mayor. First, we want to start with a question. Colby Thielen had a story yesterday about a $731 million development in the works for Bricktown. How would the project continue the growth of that area and our city? Yeah, well, first of all, good morning. And yes, the, you know, the big picture here is that we have more multi-hundred million dollar development projects going on in this city than like the entire history of our city combined. And right now, I mean, you've got Okana, you've got Convergence, you've got the Oak, you've got other things that are being proposed. And then as you just alluded to, you've got this project uh, in Bricktown. So this is going to be right on the boulevard. They're currently in front of the council for consideration for TIF dollars. Those are basically dollars that they're kind of getting back from their own tax dollars to try to help them make the project happen. And so that's going to be voted on in a few weeks. But it is, you know, very exciting for Bricktown, very exciting for the city. I think the biggest change here, the uh, you know, the biggest uh, advancement that you would see through this project is the high-rise nature of it. You know, you're really going to see um, some some real a real change in our skyline as you see more high-rise buildings coming, especially closer to the south, down near the Omni um, and the Convention Center. Um, so, I, yeah, it's it's an exciting time, and uh, uh, I think it just demonstrates the growth of the city and the fact that we're we're really on the national stage and investors from around the country, and and that's part of the case here with the Bricktown project are taking notice. Uh, Mayor, you put out a call to action on Facebook, kind of encouraging and really asking people to volunteer for city boards, city commissions. There are hundreds of opportunities. Can you just talk about that with our viewers right now? Sure. I, if you go to my social media, and, and I'm on all the mediums, uh, you'll see that this week I posted a link to uh, a new listing that we created. It, it may seem like something that we would have had at our fingertips, but it actually took a while to kind of pull all this together. There's almost 60 boards that I make appointments to, totaling almost 500 positions. And these are all volunteers. Um, they're all different subject matters. I mean, sometimes we hear about things like the MAPS for Citizen Advisory Board, but, you know, we also have things like the Mechanical Code Review and the Plumbing Code Review and so on. Um, and it, the, the collective force of all of these volunteers really set the direction for our city and we need people to you know to participate in this it's part of the representative form of government that we have and uh you know 500 people is no small number that's uh, that's almost one percent of the whole city so uh, you know we really need um you know people to uh to volunteer for this and uh and so i certainly encourage people to take a look at the list reach out send an email to mayor at okc.gov uh, if you're ever interested in something like this, and uh, we'd love to have you. Mayor, thanks for talking to us on this Thursday. We appreciate it. And we look forward to yeah, talking. Absolutely. Yeah, hey, we look forward to talking to you again. You're always so wonderful, and thank you for all that's going on in the city and keeping us informed.